Hi, good afternoon. I'm Patty Tapakian from Rare Properties, and today I have with me Trey Linder, our mortgage partner from Movement Mortgage. How are you doing, Trey? Doing good. Thank you, Patty. All right, today I thought we'd go over the credit do's and don'ts. Okay. Because nowadays I, I realize how difficult there are some clients that come to me, and I send them over to you, and they think they have great credit, and they find out, well, no, I really don't have such great credit, mm -hmm. and maybe it's, uh, they're a month away from buying, or they're six months away mm -hmm. from buying. So for that client who's not really sure about what to do, what do you suggest the do's and don'ts of credit in general? There are a lot of credit do's and don'ts. Um, one of the biggest things right now is people opening new credit while they're applying for the loan process. Every time is that credit cards? Is credit it kind of like furniture? I mean, I know I've that's a car loans big, car before, loans, which is yeah. a huge one. Huge yeah. but, um, uh, I mean, every time that you open up a new credit card or anything like that, it has to go straight back through underwriting. There's, it, the whole loan process stops. So it starts all over again. It doesn't start all over again, but it, the underwriter has to approve it with the new debt amount. Oh, okay. um, so don't open up any new credit cards. If you do, if you just open one right before the loan process, just let me know and we can get that taken care of on the Vacation? Program. Vacations are a big one. Um, we just recently had a client who went on a vacation and <clears throat> spent a little bit of money on their credit cards. and. Um, their debt to income ratios went up because their minimum balance went up and their credit score went a little bit down because um, they were above the 30% limit that they're supposed to be at. So definitely be careful when you're spending money. Uh, try to, you know, don't, definitely spend what you normally spend on a monthly basis, but don't go overboard. And, you know, yeah, and I normally tell when somebody comes to me and we're just starting out, and mm -hmm. I, feel, I do, um, fill out an application with them, the buyer application, and we do buyer agency. I always try and explain to them, you know what, we'll, from here, you need to speak to a lender. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a lender, you know, I can recommend somebody. And the first thing that they need to know is their credit. I mean, usually, if, the, if that's an issue, I'd rather have it in the beginning and know about it than have to worry about it after they found the house mm -hmm. and then they realize, oh, yeah, okay, we want to put an offer. And they can, they're nowhere near. They're six months away. They're seven months mm -hmm. away. And talking about those clients that are six and seven months mm -hmm. away, um, it's really important for me to talk to them up front right now just because. Um, a lot of times they'll be disputing collections or mm -hmm. things like that that they don't need to be disputing. If really? there's a derogatory account or, or so things like that. So you can like help that. them with that. Sometimes you don't need to remove those accounts and it's gonna it's gonna mess up your score um, for a couple months just when you when you do dispute it because they do take that off the credit report for a couple months. Okay. If it comes back, it's gonna create a whole new collection for you and could potentially hurt your score quite a bit. Wow. Okay. And um, speaking of credit scores, mm -hmm. so if somebody is buying a house, what is your I mean what do you what is the, I guess, the ratio or the range mm -hmm. of a credit score? Because obviously, the, better, the higher the credit mm -hmm. score you have, the better loan you would be able to attain. So, so 760 bit. is our top cr premier um, credit score. Yeah. Anything above yeah. six, 760, you'll be fine. Um, as far as below that, it's all tiered by about 20 points. Um, but you can work with people underneath 760, that? 760. Um, we do work with clients. Um, on VA, we can go as low as 620. Really? And all other loans, we yeah. go down as low as 640. Um, so 640 is our bottom. And I, um, I, had, uh, I had just read in the newspaper the other day about the new loan that's out there in Raleigh. I, I don't know if it's just offered in North Carolina or in Raleigh, where it's almost like a um, USDA loan. Mm -hmm. Yes, that a is a brand that? new program uh, that just came out March 1st, 2013. Okay. Um, it's basically taking an old, older program um, that was very, very rigorous through underwriting and transforming it into a four-hour underwriting process. Um, and when I say rigorous, I'm talking 15 days <laughs> or so. Um, basically, it takes the underwriting process out of NC Housing. Um, they basically gives, they look at you? all of our or, loan information uh, and then they approve the loan off that. So they're not taking any nice. documentation or anything like that. They used to ask for copies of earnest money deposit checks, due diligence, um, income statements, stuff like that. They don't take any of that anymore. And it would take forever. To also <laughs> used to be for first time home buyers and now it's for anybody. Really? Mm -hmm. wow. There aren't income limits, but there aren't any, um, as far as eligibility, there aren't any location limits. Okay. Oh, so it could be, it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be outside city limits, it mm -hmm. could be in Raleigh, it could be in Wake Forest, mm -hmm. Clayton, doesn't matter. So a lot of the, wow. the problems cool. we're running into with USDA, okay. NC Housing is a great one type to supplement that. Oh, that's great. Okay, I'm Patty Tapaki, and I just want to thank Trey for coming in today. It was great information that we've all learned today from Movement Mortgage. Um, okay, Trey, why don't you give them some of your contact information so they can get in touch with you? Okay. Yeah, my name is Trey Linder, L-I-N-D-E-R. Uh, my email address is Trey, T-R-E-Y, dot Linder, L-I-N-D-E, 
student art at movementmortgage.com. And you can also apply on my website at movementmortgage.com slash trey.lender. And my phone number is 919-535-4712. Again, I'm Patty Tapakian from Rare Properties. Have a wonderful day, and if you need to get in touch with us, please don't hesitate to call 919-576-0345. Our website is www.rareproperties.biz, and you can also trace on our website, on our lender page, on our partner page, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.